Deep excavation in the Central River Valley, shown here, is complete. You can see workers installing a liner, the large white sheet, to prevent contaminants from seeping up into the new river. Right now, we're facing east and tracing the path of the future mouth of the Don River, which will flow out of the Polson Slip. On the left, the large white structure is the Atlas Crane, a designated heritage structure. This area is the site of the former Marine Terminal 35 building and will become Promontory Park. The large piles of soil are where we're stockpiling some of the 1.3 million cubic meters of soil before the majority of it is treated and reused to raise grades around the site. The West Habitat Cove is one of two coves we created as high quality habitat for fish and birds. This area is the Cherry Street Lake Filling Project. The channel running through it is a temporary drainage swale for stormwater. It features a renaturalized shoreline and the North Habitat Cove. We're relocating Cherry Street to allow for better connections to transit. Here you can see the Cherry Street North Bridge crossing the Keating Channel. This bridge will connect with the realigned Cherry Street. The Star X soil treatment system on the east side of Don Roadway can treat up to 1,000 cubic meters of soil per week. Now we're heading south over the future path of the Don River, which currently ends at the Keating Channel. Here you can see the soil management and water treatment areas. We're treating up to 1.5 million liters of groundwater per day as we excavate the new river valley. Now we're following the path of the river towards the Polson Slip. You can see the outline of the Central River Valley along the edges. This is where the new river will pass under the Cherry Street South Bridge, one of four new bridges we're building. 